Hello there again. So let's go now through the installation of Dakota. So here you have the link for the for the software. Okay. So you see here that you have Dakota 6.12. This is a recently new version. We're going to work with 6.11. This one I still need to validate the tutorials that we're going to work, but probably you can install. Maybe we, we can see what we're working if everything is fully compatible. I read the highlights and I think everything is fully compatible. But to be sure, let's go install 6.11. So you click download. So that's 6.11. You have a GUI. We're not going to, to use the GUI. It's the one you can install that, but it, we're not going to use it. And then here you have all the software versions available. So we need to download this version, source Unix OS X. So download that one and then we're going to install that one. So I already downloaded this version, okay? So I will go directly to the terminal. So in the terminal, we're going to install uh, Dakota. This is much, much easier than open phone. So first we create the directory where we want to install that. So we create the directory Dakota, okay? Then you enter there and you need to copy the source code that you download there. So you can do it for the terminal or you can do it here, just copy and paste. I will do it just from the terminal. So I will go here and actually I will move that file, move. And put it here where, where I am, okay. So we have the coda. We need to extract that file. So to extract, we use star. Okay, and then, so it's extracting the whole source code. Okay, and now we need to create a new data. So here we have the source code, but then we want a new directory where we want to install the binaries, okay? So you create nkdir, I would call it a coda, 6.11.0, okay? So there is where we're going to do all the installation. So we're going to, for installation, we're going to use ccmake. If you don't have it, just go to the installation software and install that. So remember that you have it here. You type search, install, and you have here install, remove software, and you can install. So launch that one because we need to install a few applications here. So we're here. So for instance, you are missing CC make, you type there the name CC make and you should install. So we have it, but it should be CC make. Okay, CC make, you have it there. So, okay, I just let me. So let's go to install this one. You are inside the director where you want the binaries, this one. And then you do like this and you want to source the files are located there. Okay, you take like this one, and in this directory, you have a lot of automatic files that use this CMake uh, compilation now. So you just type like this, and automatically it will go here. Okay, it will create the, the configuration file services. So if you press C key, it will configure, and it will let you know that you have a few, a few problems. So it's telling you that you are missing for Fortran compiling. So exit, type Q, and now let's install the missing compiler. So as you type here, Fortran, you have it here. Okay. So install, okay, not sure. Let me go CCP. Okay, we're using version seven, so stay with 4 and 7 and now it just I will let you know that we're missing more software before because okay so we are also missing LA pack or la pack install developer version also we are missing I have the list here so we need to install also boost library a few so we type boost and we are missing for instance file system program options so look you look here for those Okay, we should be little bit boost here. 
file system, program options. Or oh, probably no, I think I think we need to install those. Also. So let me go. So we already ha ha have those there. So it's downloading GCC Fortran. Yeah, like pack. All the pack. Um, okay, so it is done. Click continue because we might need to install something else. Let's see if we're not missing the other. So CC make. Okay, so let's quit there. So erase everything that you have in this directory. Okay, rm minus rf. Okay, so you erase everything that you have there and rerun everything. Okay, we configure and it will run the configuration script and it will let you know if you are missing some libraries. So I think we everything should be straightforward now. Okay, so it's telling you, okay, see that it's always telling you where you are missing libraries. So we're missing program options. Okay, so yes, when you go here, boost, and it should be lit boost. This one. So basically, it's the developer libraries that since that is missing. Reject. Um, serialization. So always install the developer version. Okay, continue. Just maybe we might need to install something. Okay, again, just erase those and rerun this command. Continue, press C and it will run the configuration script. Okay, so if we have more missing libraries, it will let you know what else you are you missing. Okay, it seems that it's okay. Okay, so it is okay. This is just some general information. You press E to exit. And now here we're going to set up a few options for the installation. So the only one that here you need to set up, you can browse everything and see what you want, but just need to set up here. This is where you want to install the coda. Okay. So here you press enter and then give the location which will be this one. Okay, so you can copy this one and you put it there. So you, if you leave this one, it will give you an error when it is installing everything because remember here you need the root password, but we want to install everything in our user directory. Okay, so put it there and that's all. Okay, so you can also check more options. Okay, but everything is okay. So now you press C to configure these options. Okay. Another message it, now that you have that one, you press G to generate that script. You will generate your installation script. And at this point we are ready. Okay. So now to compile and install, you pray, you, you type make minus J and number of processors. Okay. So probably if a minute. And it will compile. So the compilation is also a little bit time consuming, but it will be faster than open phone or power. View. Okay. So at this point, let's wait a little bit. Okay. At this point, we're ready to go. We install the coda. So we need to finish the installation. So now the next step will be to type make install. And now it will copy all the binaries in your current directory. You will have all your libraries here. Okay. So you will see here, all your libraries, everything. So at this point we have everything. You saw that no errors at all. Everything is 
please start clear and now we need just to test it so as we did with open phone we need to add something in the bash rc file so if you open that file okay so we need also to load the environment of the of all the code so i already have it here so we copy this here Okay, so see that we're exporting the libraries. You have to be careful that you need to give the name. Okay, let me open. See that is your home, home Joel. So you go here, so you have it in another computer. And here also home Joel. So your Dakota, so just control everything. Dakota sits 11 bin. Okay, so here you are just loading binaries on libraries and test cases. So you can save that. And you can resource uh, source that file. Bash RC. And as you type Dakota minus B, you should get this message. Okay, so if you have this message, it means that everything went fine. Okay, see that you're loading this version. Let me close this one. But just to be also 100% sure, I can close this one here. 100% sure we can run a, a tutorial. So just to remi remind you that when we install here, we're copying all the binaries, but also you're copying some test cases that you have here. So for instance, let me pick up one case. So let me go. Here, maybe there is a code uh, Rosenberg. Okay, so we have here. Okay, so. Okay, well, doesn't matter. They just let me run the cases directly there, it's the tutorials. The code at 611 CD test. So let me go Dakota. Later we're going to learn how to use it, but I want to use Dakota. Okay, let me go CD. Okay, those are directory. Rosembra user. Okay, so let me go Dakota minus C. Um, it ran okay so later we're going to when we run the code we're going to see what is going on but it is running so these are the uh, steps to install Dakota uh, at this point we're done then we're going to do another video just to show you to install also the ESI version and then when we do the training you're going to learn how to couple Dakota with open phone or to this matter to any other library uh okay so we can close everything so as so you go here you have leave shut, shut down and close your installation and we're done and remember that when sometimes you you lose mouse control press ctrl all and then you regain it and remember that in virtual machines here you will have everything so see that you have your image there. So this means that the file is locked, it's been being used. So when this one closed for good, you all these folders will, will disappear. And remember to take this directory every now and then just back out everything. So usually I do it weekly. I have it in my OneDrive. I weekly download this file where you have everything. So it's taking longer than expected to shut down. Okay, sometimes happens, just closing everything. So let's wait until it's fully shut down and think, and then we're, we're done. Okay, the system now shut down. So remember that you go back here and you just can launch again. So at this point, we have all the applications installed. So if you have any questions, so in the description of the video, you will have the links to download the applications. Or if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. Bye.